everybody, BrickLover18 here today on Friday for another episode of Friday Ask Questions, hashtag Ask Brick. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily LEGO videos. Today we're going to start right off into the questions. Bricks for me asks, do you like doing sub for sub? No, I do not like doing sub for sub. I think you should earn your subscribers by making very good quality video and I think just asking people to sub subscribe to you because you want to subscribe to them. I just don't like that. I especially hate when people do that to me. It's because if you want to subscribe to me, go ahead and subscribe, but I'm not subscribing to you. Like if you, I want you to subscribe to me because you want to watch and like my videos, not just because you want me to subscribe to you. I hope that makes sense. Lego World 2. Do you like Marvel? Not really. I mean, superheroes are superheroes. Not a really big fan of superheroes. I like Spider-Man. Is that? I don't even know if that's Marvel or not. I do like Spider-Man, but that's about the only superhero. Tough Bricks NZ. How long have you been doing YouTube for? I have been doing YouTube for going on four years on in July. So four years, which is pretty good. I think I like. I don't know. I love YouTube. Three F I M two. Brick Lover 18, do you have Viking sets and why can't I find one? It's so hard. No, I do not have any Viking sets. I'm not even sure. I didn't even really know there were Viking sets. I do not really follow the new LEGO set release news unless it's City because that's all I really care about. So I'm probably just missing out on this Vikings theme. Fan City Bricks, what do you think is the most overpriced set of the year? My opinion on the most overpriced set of the year is the Ghostbuster set. I think that set looks very cool and it's like a fire brigade that it's, it's just twice as good as the fire brigade. The problem is it's like $400 Canadian and no teenager really can afford that. Like UA falls go right ahead because you have jobs and stuff but a lot of T falls unfortunately can't afford that. So that's why I think it's the most overpriced set of the year. I think they could have maybe did, it doesn't even look that extravagant on the outside. It looks sort of plain even. But on the inside, I know there's a lot of details, but I wish they'd make that, like that fire station design, but with no none of the details in the minifigures, because I don't watch Ghostbusters, I just want the firehouse, but I can't afford to spend $400 on a firehouse if I just want the firehouse exterior. That's the most overpriced set of the year to me, but I know you do get a lot, so it's not like you're not getting your money's worth. Do you do sponsored videos and product placements? Yes, I do. So I do a lot of different types of videos here on Brick Lover 18, but I, I do do major. But I do do haha. I do a majority of like sponsored and product placement videos. So a lot of videos where I got, well, pretty much every single video where the item came from ETSE, as well as a lot of other Lego like related companies, they are all product placement videos. If I don't explicitly say in the video this is not a product placement. It is a product placement, unless it's an official LEGO review or something like that. But 90% of the third party items I review are product placements. I don't a lot of times come right out and say they're product placements because that instantly makes people think that I don't actually like the item, I'm just in it for the money. I've never actually done a product placement where it's been a paid product placement. A lot of times the companies just send me the products to review. Another reason I don't always say this is a product placement is because then people will start harassing the company for free stuff and the companies obviously don't like that they want to give their free stuff to channels that can get them reach which is what I'm obviously trying to do but a lot of times they email me and say oh so I've gotten now four requests for people to send me like free product because you mentioned in your video that you got it for free and now people with like 10 subscribers want to review it on their channel and that's really hard for them to say no so that's why a lot of times like I don't come right out and say this is a product placement this is given to me but I do not say that so I mean if you see a third-party review where I say this is not a product placement you know it's not a product placement but if I don't say it it most likely is I do advertisements once in a while if at the start of the video you might see the ad from Google my intro and then you might see it like an ad a Lego related items I do that once in a while for brands I haven't done any since November I think but I will be doing those a couple times because I have a couple advertisers late like lined up I'm just sort of waiting for February to come around and then start advertising then but I also have some works with some brands not Lego related that I'm gonna do product placement videos with but I'll make them Lego related and it'll be good and there'll be another video on that in a minute this answer is like two minutes long Brendan Wong asks if you were to start a Lego ideas product what would you create 
I'm actually thinking about starting to do a Lego Ideas product. That idea is completely just an idea right now and there's nothing official. But because it's an idea, I don't want, I don't have time to pursue that idea right now. I'm not gonna say what that Lego Ideas product is just because I don't want somebody to kind of rip me off or do it better than I could have done it. So I have an idea, but I'm not gonna say what it is just in case I do end up doing it. And finally, the last question of the day, Lego RS. When are you going to stop making YouTube videos and if you do, why? At this time, I have absolutely no intention of stopping YouTube videos. I, have n I love making YouTube videos and I don't want to stop at all. But I am worried for when I go away to like university or college or something like that just because I won't have time to make YouTube videos then. I won't have my Lego room because most likely I'll be away from home. So that's kind of scary. But Honestly, when I'm an adult, I plan to have the nicest setup, the most expensive camera, the coolest lights, the best quality videos, and that's a big goal I have for when I'm an adult. I would love to do YouTube full time, and that's kind of what I want to do. Just have a huge awesome setup and be like the next Jang Bricks for when like, he retires. Okay, so that's all the questions I have for today. Thank you everybody for your questions. I know this episode was a bit shorter than last week's episode, but I mean that's okay. There was a couple less questions and these questions didn't take as long to, you know, respond except that one product placement question. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to leave your questions down below for next week. Don't forget to subscribe.